Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here doing a requested video. Somebody requested that I make a video on my cats. Here they are. Uh, they're meowing because I have a bag of treats in front of me to keep them up here. So they don't run away when I'm filming and talking about them. They will get treats. Um, this one's Fry. And this one is Bender. Uh, yes, I like Futurama, and that's what they're named after. Bender is the more vocal one. He's younger. He's younger than Fry by a year. Yeah, Fry is the antisocial scaredy cat. I'm gonna sit down. Um, when I first graduated from college, that was back in 2003. After that, uh, me and Pat moved out and had an apartment. And Pat had his cat named Peanut, which was um, orange and white tabby. And he was like, at the time would have been like, I don't know, 15, 15 years old. Pat had him since he was, a, um, Pat was like seven and Peanut was a kitten. And then I wanted to get myself a cat, and I, but I wanted an orange tabby. And um, Pat's mom said there was, there's a store called Pet Cetera in Ottawa. I don't think it's there anymore. That one store where I got fry from is not there anymore. But uh, we went looking and there was supposed to be two or three. There was only one left and it was Fry. And I ended up adopting him that day. It was an adoption. It's uh, one of those the pet store had were adopting out animals on behalf of the local SPCAs to help them out. So he came from the actual Quebec SPCA. I don't know why Quebec. Transferred him to um, Ontario. Um, Ottawa is right on the border of Gatineau, Hull, and then there's Ottawa. So it wouldn't have been a far travel, but still, it's still kind of weird. So he's originally from Quebec. Um, the only background information I have on Fry is he was a stray. And he was around four months, four or five months old when I adopted him. So we got Fry, and then we had Fry and Peanut. They got along okay. Fry was not really the stereotypically stereotypical kitten. Um, he did play a lot. He played more than, than he does now. He used to fetch, which was cool. We'd throw a little ball, and he'd bring it back t to us. Actually, he, what he used to do was bring it back to the bedroom on the bed. So we'd end up just sitting on the bed and throwing the ball, and he'd bring it back to us. He doesn't do that anymore, so whatever. And then a year later, I was like, I wanted a kid, because I wanted a kitten. Um, but this time, I was looking at like local ads on like a GG, and there was another website called Used Ottawa. I think there's Used like Edmonton used, whatever, but they're just major cities. And Bender comes from a man that had a barn cat that had a bunch of kittens. He was just giving them away to good homes. All the kittens look the same. They all, like, seriously look identical to Bender. Um, I think a couple were girls, but there was more boys, so he brought three. But kept the he, but he, he didn't bring up the girl. He actually came to our apartment and everything, because we didn't have transportation at the time. He came to our apartment and had two of the boys with him, and they both were identical, so I was like, I don't know, I want them both. But we had, you know, Fry and Peanut at the time, and Peanut was getting old. And so I was like, the poor guy ended up staying at our house for like, I don't know, at our apartment for like at least a half an hour, because I was just being indecisive and we were talking to him and talking about our other cats, Fry and Peanut. And then this one, this little fella, he was only two months old. The kids were two months old, so they were tiny and so adorable. Um, kept on jumping off her couch, wanting to wander around. So that's how I decided to keep Bender because he wanted to stay. The other cat was being kind of shy, and this one was just like, "Oh yeah, I live here now." So that's how I picked Bender. And now they're—I don't even know how old they are. I have paperwork which would tell me the exact year, but um, I'm going to say five and six, or. Six and seven, but I think five and six. I think Bender turned five. It's gonna be five, and Fry just turned six. I don't know. I don't know. Might be six and seven, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Time flies by. Well. I've only been living back here for like four years. Yeah, could be five and six. Either way, they're not too old. I don't call them old. Bender still acts like a kitten, so it's hard to believe that he's like five. 
He's their chub. He eats anything and everything, literally. Give him a donut, he'll eat it. Give him sour cream and onion chips, he'll eat it. Fry, on the other hand, only eats meats and cheese. Uh, Bender was the stereotypical bad kitten. He got into everything since he was so small. Climb on the curtains. Um, it was September when we got him, so that's where I say his birthday is. Well, it was November when we got him. It was September was where his birthday is. And um, he climbed the Christmas tree, just stayed in the Christmas tree, couldn't stop him. So I made sure I didn't put any glass ornaments in the tree that year. Um, super hyper, like we had to just keep him busy while he was awake. And then he'd pass out and we'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> There's Fry. Fry is very scared of everybody. Bender used to not be scared of everybody, now he is. Like if somebody comes over, he'll hide too, along with Fry. So I don't know what's up with that. Hey, Fry, I want to see your pretty face. Come here. Have more. I usually give a fry more because he's not as fat. I'd say he's a little overweight, but he's not as fat as Ben. Yeah, yeah, those. Can you see your face? So he's all orange. And not too much striping. Little Bender has the cool striping in him. show you some pictures that I have on the wall because there are kittens. There's the TV and we have this collage. This was Peanut. This is Pat's cat and he's like 16 years old there. This is Fry. That's Baby Bender. That's cute. That's both of them. That's Baby Fry actually. You can tell by how, how small he is. He was still a really big kitten. But he's smaller than Peanut, and Peanut's not that big of a cat. That's Baby Bender. That's one of the first pictures I took of Baby Ben. Uh, that's Bender, young. Let me see where some good pictures are. That's them two. There, that's a good one. See all these pictures? Bender is a kitten. Hey, don't eat that. Your bag, Bender. Bender's being bad, getting caught, eating the treats that I left for a second. Yeah, you ripped into the bag. Already? Yes. You did? Yep. Look at that, there's a hole. Yep. You are a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. Bender is bad. He gets called that a lot. This is why we have them in a tin. He always rips open treat bags if we leave him out. He's actually ripped open, like, cheese ones. So I went grocery shopping and went home, left the cheese on the, like, the groceries on the floor because I had to go to the bathroom really badly. I got back out from the bathroom, already a hole in the cheese. So I'm trying to see if there's any cute, any more cute pictures. Crazy picture, that's Peanut again. <laughs> Missing teeth. They had to take out his back teeth. Because he was so old. So hey, there's my cats. If you have any more questions, go ahead and ask. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.